Hey, welcome to Nourishable Raw, an authentic conversation about nutrition with me, Dr. Lara. Today is March 19th of 2019, and I've been thinking about maple syrup. As a Canadian, maple syrup practically flows through my blood. And there's a bunch of claims out there that maple syrup is a healthy, natural sweetener. But what exactly does that mean? Let's science it. First, we can look at the nutrient contents of maple syrup compared to sucrose, or your typical white table sugar. For an equivalent serving size, maple syrup is lower in calories and lower in sugar. Plus, it contains some beneficial minerals like calcium, zinc, and manganese. But it should be pointed out that these minerals are pretty low and it's best to consume them in other sources of whole foods. There's been a fair bit of research into other antioxidant nutrients in maple syrup. Now, these antioxidants aren't essential for life, but they can help reduce oxidative stress in the body. Think of oxidative stress as rust. Over time, oxidative stress or rusting inside the body can contribute to many chronic diseases like cardiovascular disease and diabetes, and it can accelerate the aging process. Diets that are high in antioxidant nutrients, like beta carotene that makes your carrots orange, can reduce this oxidative stress. Chemical analyses have shown that maple syrup has a bunch of different antioxidant nutrients in it. And test tube studies have shown that maple syrup can reduce the reactions that lead to oxidative stress. And really interestingly, there's actually more of these antioxidants in the lower grades of maple syrup. So these are the syrups that are darker in color and harvested later in the season. So it seems like a good thing. Pour on the maple syrup, reduce my oxidative stress. But here's the thing, you'd have to consume tons of maple syrup to get in enough of those antioxidants to have any benefit. One serving of maple syrup has only a fraction of the antioxidant capacity of one serving of walnuts. Plus, so far, the maple syrup research has been in test tubes and cells in a dish, which is pretty different from a human. So we have no idea how well humans can absorb these beneficial nutrients and where they would go in the body. Plus, maple syrup is still mostly sugar. The Dietary Guidelines for Americans recommends consuming no more than 10% of your total daily calories as added sugar. So for a standard 2,000 calorie diet, this works out to 50 grams of table sugar. This is what 50 grams of table sugar looks like, or the equivalent of about a quarter cup of maple syrup. Putting all this together, we can ask two questions. First, is adding maple syrup to the diet healthy? No, too much added sugar. Question two, is replacing white sugar with maple syrup a healthier choice? Maybe a little bit. Although this hasn't been directly studied, science suggests that there could be marginal to non-existent benefits of maple syrup at healthy levels of added sugar consumption. Although maple syrup does contain some beneficial nutrients, this doesn't completely offset the really high sugar content. There's currently some research going on with maple syrup extracts, which are essentially isolating away the antioxidants from all of that high sugar. And to me, this seems like a more feasible approach. So what do we do with this information? If you like the flavor of maple syrup, go ahead and use it to replace white sugar where applicable. Just make sure to still stay under that added sugar cap most of the time. Personally, I'll use maple syrup on those special occasions when I eat pancakes or baking a cake. And sometimes I'll use just a touch when I'm roasting vegetables or in a tasty bourbon cocktail. But overall, maple syrup doesn't play a prominent role in my dietary pattern. That's what science tastes like. Thanks for tuning in to Nourishable Raw. If you have a question you'd like me to do an episode on, leave it in the comments below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all things nutrition. Mm -hmm.